Hi, this is Professor Kitch, and this webcast is going to show you how to do category type plots uh, using Excel. The data we'll be using for this uh, example are a set of reservoir data taken from the Colorado River Municipal Water District uh, as of the middle of January 2016. The first thing you need to do to make a plot is get your data into the correct format. And here in this uh, spreadsheet you'll see that the first column, the A column, contains the category values that we're going to plot, that is the different reservoirs that we're going to plot the data for. The second column, B, contains our first data set, which is the current volume in the reservoirs. And the column C contains our second data set, which is the total capacity. Now Excel makes it pretty easy to generate this plot. I'm using Excel version 2013. If you're using a different version, the commands will be slightly different, but they'll be uh, easily understood. The first thing to do is to highlight the entire rectangle surrounding the data that we're interested in plotting. We then go to the Insert menu, and we come over here to the Charts section, and we can see all the different kind of charts that we can use. Since this is a category type chart, we're going to use this column chart to plot our data. And we simply click on that chart, and several different varieties come up. And we're going to use this very simple uh, 2D column chart. And if I just click on that, I'll pretty much have the chart mostly done. Here you can see on the x-axis we have the different categories, the three reservoirs plus the total. And on the y-axis we have the actual volumes. But to complete this chart, we need to do a couple things. The first thing we need to do is to add into the chart uh, some additional um, information. Like we don't, we don't have on the chart the x-axis title or the y-axis title. So we need to insert those. So we'll do that by going to Design. And over here, we're going to add a chart element. And here, we're going to add axis titles. And the first thing I'll do is add the horizontal axis title. That's this down here. Click on that. I'm going to type in here reservoirs because that's the category down here. These are the different reservoirs. And then I'll go back to the design tab, add another chart element. I'm going to add the um, vertical axis title. Here, this the, the volumes here. These are the volumes. That's what each what each one of these is, and they happen to be in um, acre feet. That's the volume, actually times one thousand. That is to say, with this eight hundred here is not really eight hundred; it's eight hundred thousand. So I have to put the extra thousand in there. It's important when you create your axis titles that you always put the units in them when they have their units. Obviously down here in reservoirs there aren't any units for that. Now I'm just going to make a couple other changes to this. I don't like putting the legends down at the bottom because I think it just takes up a lot of extra space. So I'm going to come over, right click on the legends, click format legend. I'm going to put it on the left but I'm also going to unclick this so that I can put it actually on top of the chart and I'll just move it over here into a place that's that's not covered. And I don't like the lines running through that. So when I go to format that, I'll come over to the format and I'll give it a solid fill. Uh, and I like to just give it a white fill. So I come over here and I just click a white fill. And then uh, when I click on this, you'll see that I get a nice uh, legend here that's easy to read. Now the other change I'm gonna make is, by default, Excel puts titles at the top of the chart. Uh, or the plot, but generally in engineering, uh, we put the titles at the bottom of the plot. So I'm going to drag that title chart all the way down to the bottom, and I'm going to grab the whole chart and slide that up to the top. Uh, and now I can put my title in here. So um, this title is the uh, current uh, reservoir levels. And so there you have a very simple category type chart plotted. 
You can make a lot of other changes to this and modify it, but, but this is what you need to know to get started. Thanks.